the system has pretty much two major traction control per se. So traction control is actually based on traction. You lose it, it does something. That's what we call active traction control. It compares vehicle speed through G-meter, acceleration or wheel speed and manipulate power in real time. So I have this slippage, this zone, this speed, this load. If it goes above, it start cutting or dropping timing or whatever, mm -hmm. we do that. Really useful for road racing, time attack, rally racing, where you don't have a good surface. You don't know how the surface is. Then you have what people also call traction control, but honestly ain't. Power management, time-based power management. That's really useful for drag racing. Drag racing, you have the opportunity to walk on the track. Even no prep tracks, you still can understand how the track goes. Better than active traction control because it does not rely on losing a little traction to react. If you can be pre-active mm -hmm. and have the perfect power curve to the surface you're racing, you're faster.